To some high school athletes, sports are everything. Spending hours in the gym working, practicing, sweating, sports are their lives. For Parkway Central senior Joe Estman, sports provide an outlet. Two hours a day where he can forget everything else. To Joe, living is life. Put the ball right there, that's where we start passing. It's really, it's a great time for me to not really lose focus, but to just focus on something else and something maybe less that has less deeper meaning. When Joe was 13 years old, he lost his mother to cancer. Uh, my mom, she, she was an incredible woman. Uh, my best friend, uh, pretty much my guide through life, still is now. Uh, she was something else. Her attitude uh, has definitely rubbed off on me, and that's why I'm so positive and so energetic is because of her. For five years, Joe watched his mom battle a brain tumor, a fight she lost in 2007. It definitely wasn't easy. Uh, through the bulk of that, I was eight up to 13. She died when I was 13, so uh, I really, really felt like I had to like, be strong for my little sister and for my family. I just wanted to be a role model for the rest of my family, so I kind of developed this sense of maturity that I think I still now have. Joe was never the tallest on the court or the fastest, but his mom saw something special in him. She was his biggest fan. I played basketball my entire life. Uh, started when I was five. She loved the way I played. She just kept telling my dad and uh, the rest of my family that, that basketball was my sport. And it was what was for me. Here I am today and I'm loving every minute of it. She was right. When Joe could have shut down, he did the opposite. He's grown, he's stayed positive, he's living his life just the way his mom would have wanted. Whenever I think about her and it makes me cry, I don't really cry tears of sadness or tears of pride because I have so much joy and I know she'd be so happy with everything I'm doing. Joe carries on his mother's legacy in all that he does. In 2005, his mother began a charity walk to raise money for brain tumor awareness and research. Joe and his family and friends still continue the walk in his mom's honor. But to be a part of it now of what her legacy was and is, is really, really meaningful and it drives me to do my best and to work really hard for this. He's a kid with a great drive and a great heart. Those that are lucky enough to know him say there's no one else quite like him. I feel I've been blessed to know him. You, know, you don't cross paths with a young man like that that's, that's you know, got the, the, the gifts that he has. We can all learn a thing or two from Joe Estman. There's more important things than winning the next game. There's more important things than sports. There's life. I just want people to know that, that there are so many challenges in life and sometimes there's things you can't control. To be happy overall and, and get through the tough stuff and see that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And there is something happy just around the corner and something fun to do. So you gotta keep yourself open and aware and God, life is great. Just have so much fun. One, two, three.